coming from New York, where I'm surrounded by buildings all the time, it's just great to be able to come out and be in nature. And I, I like to hear that there's water and birds and, uh, and in parks, but also buildings nearby. In New York, you have to make a special trip to get somewhere, and it always takes twice as long as you think. But uh, going to the park to escape their apartments and stuff. And, and before there were parks, people would just come out and sit on the stoop. You know, that was very traditional in Brooklyn, Queens, some of the uh, boroughs in New York and so on. And so it's uh, nice that you come out, so it's even more relief from the heat uh, if it's summertime and uh, prettier. We're currently in the uh, Thomas Street Garden pea patch. What do you grow? Uh, in our patch, we grow a mixture of uh, decorative. Uh, flowers and also some foodstuffs. We also grow uh, herbs. There's some herbs down down here. Uh, it's a mixture of, of all the possible things that we could we could choose to grow. Different people pick. How many people uh, participate in this pea patch? Probably something in the order of 25. And do they prim primarily grow just vegetables or? It varies from person to person. Some people have quite sophisticated engineering projects, it seems almost, to, to grow the perfect tomatoes. Uh, others uh, just like flowers and they, they'll grow a completely decorative garden. Uh, I think our one is unique in that I sit in it a lot. And one of the goals was to, to have a place outside of the apartment that we could come to, that we could sit down. I like to read, I especially like to read outside. And I'm also a bird watcher, so I like to sit here and, and watch the birds. It's been kind of a revelation over the past few years of uh, understanding how bird life interacts in this particular particular garden. You start to get to know the individual birds after a while. It's rather strange. This is kind of a way of getting back into nature. Yeah, for me, it's very much so. It's a it's a place that's outside of a uh, I guess a man-made structure. It's a it's a place I can go to, and it's uh, it's also an open place in that it's you know you get get people wandering through. So there's there's always a feeling of, uh, of people being around the place, so it's not enclosed. It feels like you're outside, you're open. There were a number of things that were contributed by local people, and this thing is used all the time by lots and lots and lots of people. You see people coming through here with their children, telling them what different plants are, and when they bloom, and, and it's, it's, you see teachers come in here, people come in here and conduct uh, language classes on the bench, you know, <laughs> it really gets a lot of use besides just the gardening. And, and I think for me, it's gotten uh, me to know a lot of more of my neighbors because I was here when we built it. Yeah. And That's I think particularly when we were building it, people got to be really close. It's yeah. a little less so now because you know, people come and go and there's not such big gatherings. I think some of the bigger ones have more food gatherings right, and things right. like that. And we do contribute to the food banks and stuff like that too, but just, um, you know, I, I mean, I've been here, I think we built this nine or ten years ago, so I've never been here a while. <laughs> 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 and part of the thing when we were doling out the plots and people were asked what they wanted to plant, I said, I'm going to have a patio. <laughs> this is my two foot by two foot patio. <laughs> it doesn't look the best at the moment. It's got all those things on it because we're putting in these new dividers but uh, it's a, I live right up here so it's a great space we have no outdoor space yeah so it's a great place in the summer when it's really hot yeah, I bet you it can is. go and sit outside for a while and um, you know just talk to the neighbors and read or whatever get out to nature <laughs> yeah. kind of touch back yeah, relax to, you yeah. know they're as they're getting more and more people especially here on the hill I noticed it a lot and I'm a little concerned about what's going to happen with all the new condos that are going to yeah. open up. There are so few, even semi-quiet spaces yeah. around, and I think, I think people, in, if they get too packed in, it gets really noisy. It makes them very tense, and it yeah. creates a bad atmosphere. Yeah. So if you can have a few places where people can rest and be, you know, it's not quiet because we have the street right here, but it's it's nice though quieter than yeah. just having all the plants around. Somehow makes it feel quieter. Yeah. Yeah, this is the only place where my eyes can look far that's close to my house that like you can actually hang out and um, so it's really it's nice to have a park 
and be able to look far and your eyes get very pain, go through a lot of pain when you do math and all the other schoolwork I have to do and you have to look at close things and computer screens so it's a really healing experience to look at these big landscapes and yeah. have that fresh breeze hitting your face and uh, I think it just like as, as in this park it's so you don't hear that um, traffic noise the city noise as much um, hearing the water uh, I think it really brings you back to nature and uh, I think there's something innate probably in, in every human being you probably need a little bit of that every once in a while to re-energize you know. Thank you.